body first. So interesting. I told you my partner, she, um, she's got, I think she's got like a deviated mm -hmm. septum or something, mm -hmm. which means yep. that breathing, you can always hear her breathing through her nose mm -hmm. pretty much all the time, when, especially mm -hmm. when she sleeps. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. kind of something when she goes to sleep, it's like, even, you know, she'll wear, to be fair, she started wearing mouth tape. I wanted mm -hmm. to talk to you about this. She started wearing this thing called Maya tape, which goes mm -hmm. around her lips and has a hole in the middle. Yep. Um, but that having that Maya tape around her mouth, when we looked at her whoop scores in the morning, really interestingly, her heart rate was flatter than ever. So usually what you'd see in her heart rate is kind of these like spikes mm -hmm. upwards throughout the night. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it might spike up to 60 or 70. But with the, with the mouth tape around her lips, which kept it kind of keeps your mouth closed throughout the night mm -hmm. her heart rate super flat her wake events down mm -hmm. her sleep efficiency up mm -hmm. i hear this every day really <laughs> i mean it's, yeah. yeah this is the the beauty of nasal breathing what the brain wants is a consistent fluid signal it gets that signal from your breathing so and there's a study I'll send you guys on this that the clock, the master clock of sleep and of the brain at night is that cyclical, deep, easy breathing pattern. This is what the body doesn't want to have to fight and defend itself when it's sleeping. This is its time to rest and restore and grow, right? If you're constantly waking up, what's that doing? The body has to stop what it's doing, the repair mechanisms, and address the threat over and over and over. And that's what's happening when people are struggling to breathe. <sighs> Breathing like that. So this doesn't shock me at all. This is exactly what happened to me. This was my same experience. And it's the experience that hundreds of people have had and they've sent me their sleep scores for some, some reason, showing their <laughs> heart rate variability, showing their uh, how much more deep sleep they're getting mm -hmm. and showing how rested they are in, in the morning. So no matter how you get to nasal breathing, if it's by force of will, some people can just will themselves. I think that's awesome. That's <laughs> the greatest way of doing it. If it's a piece of tape, that's what I like using. Myotape's fantastic. It's been around for a long time. And it takes away some of the paranoia that people have with first taping their mouth. It's especially good for kids. You don't want to tape a kid's mouth. This myotape just sort of it provides a gentle reminder to keep your mouth shut. At any time you can talk, you can breathe through your mouth, but it's it's just gently reminding you to keep your mouth shut. I think it's great. Some people use chin straps.